I speed ran Minecraft, but I'm not allowed to break any blocks of any kind. Now, this was definitely by far the hardest speed run I've ever done, and this is for a variety of reasons. The first is, I can't craft anything, because I can't get wood. So I can't craft any crafting tables, the only way to get wood is from like, TNT or Spruce Villages, which in this run I didn't get either of. So that also means there's no one cycle, I can't craft any tools, I'm going to have to rely on all tools I find in chests in the run. And similarly along the line of finding th having to rely on things I find on chests, in Bastions, I'm only able to trade the gold I get from chests because there's no way for me to mine the gold blocks. So it's going to be really RNG dependent. And when I say really RNG dependent, I mean I spent like over six hours just trying to get one run that worked for this. And as well as that, there's also more RNG factors. So I obviously can't get any blocks, which is obviously a bit of a pain. It means that I'm, I actually have to do quite a lot of parkour and bits that can be quite hard on like food. Although the worst parts come at the end of the run where I the stronghold it has to be ocean exposed and it has to be even with ocean exposed the portal room has to be exposed. I lost over like I lost I think two runs to that, which was really annoying, not gonna lie. And also the worst one is even if I do manage to finally get to the end, there's like a one in three chance, maybe a bit higher that I spawn in the cage in the end, in which case the run's not playable because I'd have to break blocks to get out. So as you can see, there's a lot of RNG factors. I'm already in the Bastion, so many RNG factors to talk about here. And I trade the bottom gold. I don't get much, I get only five gold, although I do manage to get one pearl trade, which is really nice. Don't want the skeletons to bother me a bit. And you notice that I've got this Rego seat, now that's because I'm doing this with FSG, so rather than spending hours resetting, because I already spent like six hours with FSG, basically I get a seed that's automatically going to be really good for speed running. So it just it just saves time, although at the end of the day it doesn't really make it much easier. I still have a lot of weird challenges. And I really don't get much gold up here, and this is actually really annoying me. I get like three gold, like, toast, like, I've got, uh, I only trade, like, ten gold, which is not much, remember, you might think that my rates are really good, I actually get so much string, which is annoying, I don't need string, give me pearls, but you might think my rates are really good, but I'll remind you, yeah, I had probably, like, tens of runs get into the nether, and only very few I managed to get stuff, because I actually had two runs against the stronghold, but both of them, the portal room was hidden, I actually managed to, like, do some cool thing in one of them, where I glitched through, like, the iron bars of the portal room, that was pretty fun. But also, yeah, this run has some moments in it where I get, like, really close to death. Like, there's one where I nearly drown. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's really difficult. You see, actually, with Bastion leave time is, like, pretty good. Like, even the blind time on this is really good. My only issue here is usually I kill animals in the overworld, but there weren't any, so I'm just relying on one golden apple. And because I had to fall down quite a bit because of various reasons, I... It got quite difficult with food, and I'm quite unhealthy, and I'm now I'm going to rattle sprint soon, which does certainly lose me, like... Four, maybe five minutes in this run. This run could have been crazy. This run's still really fast. Like even for FSG, like this run beats a large amount on the leaderboard, which is pretty crazy. Again, I'm being like really careful with my health here because I know that like this guy's in any moment could just kill me. So gotta be super careful here, but it's all good. And I'm killing these blades, and I get seven rolls, which is nice. The other thing is I've only got twelve pearls, so I am worried about breaks. Or you're gonna see it's not gonna be much worry. You'll see that soon. Another really cool thing about this run. But again, I'm not sprint. I can't sprint here, and I'm literally just walking to my blind spot. And I know this in the correct blind course for the FSG, I need to go like 150, 150, or at a minimum 120, 120. And obviously, one of the calls is 76. But I decide where I'm gonna have to get food anyway, so I'm just gonna blind here. And here, I'm actually I need to get to the top of though because I can't swim properly. It's gonna be quite a bit of tight on air, but I'm able to grab like an air pocket here, so it's all pretty good. Which is nice, and I'm looking at the FSG leaderboard, like this run, it's like, it beats like 100 runs on the lead one, it's like 600, 700, which is actually pretty cool to be fair, <laughs> given obviously like this run, it could have been way faster because I lost like so much time here, and the blind time, the interesting thing is here, I have all my rods by 5.30 and I'm blinding sub 7, which for a normal run is actually sub 10 pace, and sub 10 is like, great, like, really good for FSG, like, it took me months to get a sub-10, which is kind of funny, when looking at this run, but, you can see here, I finally managed to find some chickens, I had to, like, walk for absolutely miles in here, and chickens aren't the best, because they're impossible to, like, hit my losing sourcing and drop one, because they are, they're just, they've got, like, tiny hitboxes, 
And I probably could, but given that playing Quake Pro, it wouldn't be easy. But I managed to get four chicken here, which is going to be pretty much enough food for the rest of the run. Again, just like usually, I just like mine through that lead, but I can't break any blocks, so <laughs> this isn't exactly easy. And now I'm just going to speed this up here. I'm starting to head to my uh, stronghold. You may have thought, notice I've not uh, thrown an eye yet. That's because I'm just getting into the area and I'm hoping I'll just see it in case an eye breaks. Because I've been grinding for six hours. I do not want to lose a run to an eye break. That's like the worst thing to do a run. But I eventually have to throw one and it breaks. Like, bruh. And then eventually, I'm having problems with dolphins, but I see library here. You can see here, I'm going to look around for an exposed area of the stronghold. And I initially think, okay, this run's like basically dead. Because I can't see anything, and I look, none of the rooms here are there, but I see this cave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, I know this run's dead, I'm going to go in the cave and hope for the best. I got some good ones. This is where I get, like, really close to death. So you see here, I go down here, and I'm like, okay, this is fine. And I'm like, okay, there's nowhere to go, so I think, okay, I'll just go under here and just hope I see an opening. I'm just going along the stronghold, and, like, praying, I'm looking at my drowning, I'm like, oh god. I'm losing health now. Oh no. This is like pretty intense. I'm like really stressed here. And I see an opening. I'm like, yes. Can I make it? Can I make it? For one, like maybe like half a second, even less longer. And I'm dead there. I'm going to just start now with my stronghold. I will go down middle here. I actually grab a bit of food there, which is pretty nice. But I see a lot of mobs and I don't want to risk it. So again, I'm really low on food. And down here. And all this is a massive stronghold. All these ways look really good. And see here, soon I get the nav, and this is the other like really cool part of the run. As well as the info, info is pretty nice. But the eyes in the portal is the most I've ever gotten in like any run, RSG, FSG. As you can see here, this is mm, it's a uh, five eye. Uh, this is the first ever time I've rolled five eye, which is pretty cool. Like five, I'm like what? And I didn't actually notice this time. I think okay, it's like a two or three hour something. I actually didn't like count. And then you see when I start placing my eyes, because I'm like, I've got a, I'm not sure how many more I need to craft, so I'm just like, okay, I'll just place these and see how many left. And then I look at this and I'm like, wait, there's only one left. So I, I, I realise, I'm like, what? Wait, this one's a five eye, what? <laughs> That's quite funny. And then thankfully I do not get the cage one. Oh my god, if I had one, that would be really annoying. Obviously, I'm not doing hard over here. Remember, I need to shoot down all the towers, because I one, can't one cycle it, so I can't get let the dragon, dragon regen. So... Eh, my aim's okay, I do kind of obviously miss it off. But I have this crossbow, and I have plenty of arrows. I also do get to like, shoot, the, shoot the dragon a bit with it afterwards. Unfortunately, not enough. I think if I had like three more arrows or just had better aim, I would have been able to do it in like, uh, one less perch. But it's okay. And I'm obviously just going to start shooting it as it starts coming down. And uh, here it is. So this is the first perch. It's going to be a lot of perches, and I'm hoping my tools will last because... Again, like, I only got the tools I got out of the chest in the overworld, and these have lasted me quite a way. Thankfully, I didn't kill anything for food, because otherwise, this would be a long way. Well, technically, I killed some zombies, but not really for food. Yeah, I was, like, trying to avoid killing mobs. This run was, like, really insane. Do subscribe, because I spent so much time working on this video. Again, I wanted to upload this two days ago, but for, like, two days straight, I just kept grinding for, like, three hours each day, and just couldn't get anything. But thankfully, today I got it. So hopefully I should be able to make more food for you. I don't know if you saw the shorts, but I've been having quite a few of those. Those are pretty fun to do. I do enjoy doing them. I've got, like, a script room fun one tomorrow. So do subscribe, but I'm just going to be able to hope I finish this dragon. And I am worried because, like, my sauce will break. I'm really hoping this is going to be sub-20, although unfortunately it's not quite. Sub-20 would be cool. I do genuinely think uh, sub-15 or maybe even the sub-10 is possible. Which is pretty insane, by the way, if you think about it. But um, this is, I believe, the third perch. Might be set. Oh, no, it's the third perch. And the uh, saw breaks. I'm just going to have to punch it. <laughs> it's a lot of punches. But um, I'm hoping I'll be able to kill it. By, I'm like 90% sure I will. At the time, I was like 90% sure I wouldn't be able to. And it's going to fly away. I'm like really, really low health. Which pisses me off again. This is why I say like one or two more bow shots and be dead. There'll be like 20, like something. 20xx. And then thankfully I'm able to kill it here. The dragon's in the weird spot, but I'm not letting that mess with me. And I'm able to kill it. And it's sub-21, just. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow my Twitch. I'm not going to live there too much recently, but I will be live there a lot. So, this took a ton of time, but yeah. That was quite fun. See you.